chances are you're still able to read this message even though all the letters are mixed up. Most people watching this video have most likely seen something like this before, probably on Facebook. The science behind it is that our mind reads the word as a whole instead of the individual letters. As long as you have the first and last letter, your mind should be able to read it. However, my hypothesis is that the serial position effect also takes place in this process. And in my reasoning, I will be conducting an experiment at the same time. An experiment is a research method used to find cause and effect. We use this whenever we do something intentionally to get a reaction out of it. I'll be asking strangers to read sentences with all the letters scrambled in order to see if the serial position effect takes place. Let's begin. Serial position effect is the tendency to remember the first and last word in list or sequence. In my case, it would be the tendency to remember the first and last letters in a word. Primacy effect suggests that the letters at the beginning of a word put into long, long term memory. Recency effect suggests that the letters at the end are put into short term memory. The letters in the middle are also short term memory but have been there longer so they go through displacement and are harder to remember. When growing up, I believe our minds went through these effects while learning new words. The effects would have a very small impact due to the shortness of most words. However, over many years, the difference became greater and created the ability for us to read words relying primarily on the first and last letters. Now that you're more aware on how the mind memorizes, I'll teach you about three simple techniques to improve your memory. Mnemonics are devices to help you memorize larger pieces of information like lists or sequences. Music mnemonics, using the words you need to remember to create a catchy song. An example is the ABC song we learned to memorize the ABCs. Name mnemonics, using the first letter in each word to create a name. An example is Homes for our Great Lakes, Huron, Ontario, Michigan, Erie, and Superior. Rhyme mnemonics, creating a catchy rhyme to remember. An example would be cyanate I ate, cyanide I died. And there you have it.